And so um, after one concert, I went and introduced myself to the band and um, pitched them my idea of shooting a music video, half in New York, half in Tennessee, and showing their personality, just having all these fun scenes to really, you know, get the their entire fan base to know who they are and not only what they sing. And this one was a fishing scene. So we had all five band members uh, fishing into the river. I don't know The only thing that day was it was freezing. And we were right on the water, so the wind was just making, I mean, our faces were numb by an hour or two into it. Good cold. A lot colder than uh, getting was one of these. And of course, we spent six hours there trying to get our shot. It's um, so the band's fishing into the water, and then Wrench pulls up what he thinks is a fish. apartment and it scared the crap out of me. Did you name it yet? No, I have not. What do you think it's name should be? Elmer. Elmer. <laughs> this is Elmer the Rat, our star of the music video. Reminds me a lot of the movie Heavyweights, where they got that rat and they have to eat it. I guess Wrench is sort of the Ben Stiller. The closer the rat is. Somehow the, the, the way out of our situation came through performing bluegrass hip hop together. <laughs> uh, you know, looking out. back, it sounds silly now saying it, so. The only way out. Right now we are going to get the band playing. Um, it is so cold, but they're being good sports. You know, we actually play too. Mother Nature and I are have a little bit of beef right now because it is March and it's technically spring. Somebody didn't tell her she overslept or something. She's like, oh damn, my bad, I'm late. So yeah, by the end of it, I don't think any of us could feel our fingers and the band was freezing. So we had to take a little piece of break to kind of recoup from that one. This is where we go fishing with the dog. We're gonna use the dog at the end of the pole and we're just gonna throw the dog into the river. And then See, after bizarre, we catch a fish no with the dog, be during the filming of this. all animals will be harmed during <laughs> all gangster grass videos. <laughs> we harm all the animals. <laughs> Including us. We are the animals, that's the point. Third scene was the, um, we went out to a basketball court in Brooklyn. This basketball court was outside, just on the asphalt, and it had a beautiful view of the city in the background. We shot a group of extras doing the gangster grass dance that we had choreographed. It was still a little bit chilly, so they had their jackets on to the last minute and then shred them off and just went with it, did the dance. They did it over and over and over again, but had the best attitude about it. It was really amazing. And we had some incredible dancers there. Like, I mean, I I didn't know what to expect. Number one, the band is based in Brooklyn. They started in Brooklyn. Um, they've got a big fan base there and all in New York. They play most of their shows in New York. And really half of their sound is a very New York sound. It's their hip hop sound, their city sound. You know, we came, it's, it's such a good time, like, we're not really good dancers at all, but like, the song is stuck in my head, it's so good, I'm really excited to see it, it should be fun, everyone's having a great time. And then the last shot, we went out to Washington Square Park and the fountain hadn't been turned on yet in the park. It was still kind of cold winter and did a fake scene where the guys were playing for money and then a bunch of random people would just come on and do a little dance in between them. Yeah. They try to keep me on the AM chart.
boss, I'm standing behind him. We're having a very New York video shoot today. We showed up in Washington Square Park. And we're setting up to shoot. And simultaneously, there's a marriage equality protest over here. And some acrobatic dancers over there. There's a guy playing a grand piano and a big uh, chalk drawing artist over there. So there's like, there's like half a dozen things going on in this park while we're shooting the video. And it's really, really New York. The really amazing thing about that scene was that, you know, we were pretending to have a crowd forming around Gangsta Grass, but we really ended up having a huge crowd around all of us, just of random New Yorkers gathering in the street. And so for the very last scene, um, Ranch turns to me and he's like, hey, do we want to just like ask all these people if they want to be in it? And I was like, all right, let's try it. The entire group of people just come, came down into the fountain and we ended up with this huge group of people just of all different shapes, sizes, skin color, everybody, everybody. Time is precious, you suspended in mind. It's like your clock is broken, it just won't wind. I can't explain how I rip these lines. This is outstanding. Loving this. This is brilliant. Yeah, cool. We're having a good time. Yeah, man. The turnout's been very, very cool. Uh, the dancers are all great. You know what I mean? This is, this is fabulous stuff. That was more than I ever could have expected. We had so many awesome extras come out. It was incredible. I do find it fascinating how many people were just walking out in the middle of the jungle. People were just like, oh, what's going on here? What the hell? There's a camp? Like, yo, you don't see it. this, all this stuff happening here? Dude was like, whatever. How did you dance? All right, it's not. <laughs> yep. Yeah, just everyone there was just very excited to be there, and it was one of the coolest moments ever that we hadn't planned at all. This is my this is my nice uh, lunch here. Elmer is pretty tasty. It's a New York delicacy. Be great. See you Morning in Nashville. Works. It was great. New York just got gangsterfied. Pull the camera with your left hand. Gangster grass pride and such and so. Uh, yeah. This has been so great. <laughs> See you on Nashville. I know. He gets, he gets Tennessee, here we come. So that is officially a wrap on Gangster Grass. It was a very successful shoot. We are now officially done with all the New York scenes. All we have left is to go to Tennessee and shoot those. I'm looking forward to being in a place where people always assume that I'm from. <laughs> Not in fact from Nashville, but at least now I can say I've been there. <laughs> oh, man. Philly's coming for you. It doesn't matter where I am. Now coming to Tennessee, everything is just so laid back. <laughs> this location that we got, um, this farm and the barn that we shot at, it's the most amazing location. I got the metro card, you got the so the first scene that we shot in Tennessee was a barn concert scene to complement the basketball dancing scene we had in New York. And show that the unity of these two worlds, hip hop, bluegrass, city, country, um, just collide and come together and in something in a really cool way that works really well. So we met you in uh, Chattanooga. We did. We did. On rainy night. night. Rainy night in Chattanooga. Rainy night in Chattanooga. It was just me and you. And yeah. Three people in there. Not many people Bad in the bar. Right. Right. But Eddie was there, so uh, that made all the difference. So the second scene that we shot today um, was a target shooting scene. Action. Kind of worried me to set up just because we were bringing out guns for this scene. <laughs> it's a little bit, you know, a little bit scary to set up. But if you think about the fact that I was shooting a 20 gauge shotgun from 15 feet and I, I managed to pick out only one of the cans, <laughs> does that make you a really good shot? I, I mean, an excellent shot. I go Shotgun In between shooting, we want to shoot. But if we want to shoot you shooting <laughs> us shooting you. Yeah, I didn't actually know we were doing a music video. I thought that they just said we're going to come down here and do shooting all day. And we would kind of say,
forever funky like an ass crack. Oh, my voice is power and my word is law. So this is where Gangsta Grass was born? This is where we came out of these rocks. Tore all these trees down when we sprung from the earth, full grown. Like giant bluegrass nuclei. You're like right above me. You're like a like a crime family sort of thing. So going into the four wheel riding shot, how how the four four wheelers would uh would be handled. I didn't know everyone's you know level of um, knowing how to ride a four wheeler. <laughs> Issues, but uh, uh, the truck's got some really great shocks. So <laughs> we're good. We've got some good ideas, and uh, we're executing them. And uh, and we might even be able to execute Dan before the end. Of the day. I mean, any production is is definitely tough, and, and every new one you do, you learn ten new things, a million new things, even that you can change and make better for the next production. So this has been an amazing learning experience for me. Um, it's also just kind of solidified how amazing the film industry is and how many people come together to make one little production come through. Putting all that into perspective and uh, realizing all the hard work but how much it pays off when you see your final production. And only reason it worked out were because of all the people that volunteered their time, their props, their equipment, everything. Mm -hmm.